On this day, Marine Corps Aviation takes an important first step towards future dominance in the skies. This Marine pilot will become the first Marine and only second service member to fly the F-35 Joint Strike Fighter. The Air Force, the Marines, the Navy, and as well as eight other nations will fly this jet. The sheer power of the jet rattled ears as Major Joseph Bachman, an F-35 test pilot, took off from the Lockheed Martin plant here in Fort Worth, Texas, March 19th. A firm test, card complete, setting up card 30. While he had flown the aircraft many times in flight simulator, today he got his first opportunity to take the jet to the skies as he flew to as high as 15,000 feet to perform various roles in formation flying. Although Lockheed Martin will extensively use the flight for further testing, the main reason for this flight was to get Bachman comfortable with flying the aircraft that he's testing and in turn providing feedback to the designers. It'll be the Marines' primary fighter and will give them a combination of capabilities. Supersonic speed, short takeoff vertical landing, and a first for the Corps, stealth technology. The F-35 will consolidate and replace three jets currently flying for the Marines. The EA-6B Prowler, the FA-18 Hornet, and the AV-8B Harrier II. Officials say the single jet will translate into saved money and saved wrench time for maintainers. It was uh, amazingly easy uh, to do everything I had today. I was, I was tentative just because it was uh, the first time in the new airplane, but it did everything I wanted it to do uh, better. Uh, it does, it's going to mean a lot to the guys on the ground. It's going to perform amazingly well for the Marine Corps. I'm going to make sure that happens. Uh, it already has a great start. It was uh, badass. While the U.S. government awarded Lockheed Martin the contract to start the Joint Strike Fighter program back in 2001, today marks a milestone for the Department of Defense, more specifically the Marine Corps, who will be the first service to begin receiving the F-35 in 2012. Sergeant Jeremy Vaught, Fort Worth, Texas.